For a long time, we've heard about the numerous benefits of EVEs over internal combustion vehicles, beginning with better performance and zero emissions. It's particularly reliable. But guess what? The reality is not as simple in actuality because the latest Consumer Reports analysis has shown that electric vehicles cause more problems than their traditional internal combustion counterparts. Stay with us as we check five key reasons why electric vehicles are difficult to use, and the reason most COs are in awe as EVs are criticized for their huge inaccuracy in a new report. Let's start with number one, problems with charging and batteries. On paper, the issues with electric vehicles are fairly straightforward. There's the battery, and then there's an electric motor. There's not much that could go wrong. In reality, it's still a relatively new invention. Keep in mind that internal combustion vehicles were first reliable three or four decades ago, and they were manufactured since the second part of the 19th century. Of course, we live in faster times. However, engineers still require patients to learn how to use this technology and eliminate undesirable features. There are a lot of them. Of course, one of the initial things to come to mind is battery degrading. The battery of EVEs isn't performing as well as they claim to. The range is significantly less when pushed to the limit and during colder weather, while degradation is faster than anticipated. This affects the satisfaction of the owner, particularly when we consider that batteries are extremely expensive and are often less than the entire vehicle. But that's not all. Batteries are also susceptible to fire. We've seen numerous instances of fires, and not only when charging, but even in hibernation too. Some cargo vessels that have EVEs have been completely destroyed, which is why it's not surprising that a lot of potential buyers are scared to keep something similar to this in garages. In the end, General Motors admitted the issue and announced a recall on certain Bolt EVs due to the possibility of fire in their high-voltage batteries. The recall affected Bolt EVs manufactured from 2017 through 2019 and a few 2020 models. After investigations found that the manufacturing of batteries within these cars could cause the risk of fire. Reason number two, infrastructure. One of the biggest issues that hinders EV adoption and among the primary reasons for low satisfaction with customers is the fear of range. As mentioned, the main cause of range anxiety is inadequate infrastructure, which isn't suitable for a large EV adoption. The number of charging stations available isn't as extensive, which means that all potential drivers who reside in apartments or do not have a garage refrain from buying an electric vehicle. The issue is apparent both in rural and urban areas. For urban infrastructure, there are a number of specific issues that need to be addressed prior to the full acceptance of electric cars. The first things that come to mind are designated charging areas with charging facilities modifications to city planning to include charging stations, and of course, improvements to electrical grids to meet the growing demand. In rural areas, on the other hand, the establishment of charging stations can be more difficult because of the lower demand and the higher cost. Reason number three, maintenance and repair costs. Technology requires time to develop and mass production to become affordable, and that's yet to happen with electric vehicles. Of course, what comes first to mind are the battery. They're still expensive and can amount to up to a quarter of the cost of a vehicle. As batteries begin to degrade, as we've mentioned, at the point when replacement arrives, owners face nothing but a major problem as they must pay thousands of dollars for repairs that are simple. Is it logical to invest that much money into, for instance, a car that's been in use for 10 years? We're not convinced. However, batteries aren't the only thing that can affect the cost of repair. There's still a new phenomenon in the automotive industry, which means there's not a lot of experienced mechanics and technicians who can tackle them. In the context of the fundamental rule of supply and demand, it's not difficult to conclude that if you do find these experts, they'll charge more than a typical mechanic would. And as we've mentioned before, the primary reason for the EV's reliability isn't the engine, but a different part. 
One of the reasons could be due to the poor quality of the build. We've all heard about the fact that Tesla cars aren't well constructed. However, other car makers aren't any better. Simply put, batteries cost a lot and every manufacturer wants to reduce production costs and create ease at a reasonable price. One way to save money is to use less quality materials and to speed up the manufacturing process, which eventually results in inadequate quality control, which is the most important element of reliability, regardless of how complicated a car's design may be. Reason number four, plug-in hybrids. Plug-in hybrids are more dangerous. A recent study found that electric vehicles are more reliable by 80% than gas-powered cars. However, plug-in hybrids are even more unreliable. These vehicles are also more prone to failure due to their complicated design. They are designed to provide an encapsulation of both the worlds and to provide the advantages of electric, only driving, but also to provide the ultimate autonomy and eliminate range anxiety completely. The only issue with this kind of an approach to design is that the owners will be provided with two complicated powertrain systems, each one with its own unique problems. The gas engine needs standard maintenance like oil changes, whereas the electric component of the setup has huge and costly batteries. There are also components that connect both systems. This can be extremely problematic. In contrast, traditional self-charging hybrids have proven to be the most reliable options, particularly those from well-known hybrid manufacturers like Toyota, which has been working on its research for a long time. Thus, their hybrid systems are a marvel of engineering. They are extremely simple, yet efficient, and with fewer components than a typical gas engine, and consequently more reliable than pure internal combustion vehicles. Reason number five, all new technology. The biggest challenge is the new technology. Based on everything we've discussed in this video, it's easy to reach the conclusion that the primary reason for this high degree of unreliability in electric vehicles is that it's still an extremely new technology. Like every other area of technological advancement, electric cars also require time to cope with the new challenges of technology. New technologies require time to be polished before they can be able to prove their reliability. Similar to internal combustion automobiles that took years before they could be considered reliable. Electric vehicles will be no different. It could take years and even decades before we can see all of these issues resolved. The first and foremost issue is the issue of batteries, which are likely to be based on new chemical elements that will make them more affordable and more efficient, as well as less flame-proof. The same is true for the other elements of EVEs that require advanced technology, particularly in the area of autonomous driving as well as other functions for assistance with driving. The issue with today's electric vehicles is that the majority of them are extravagant and well-equipped with a variety of possible issues. In the near future, car manufacturers will have to develop smaller and less expensive electric vehicles, which are cheaper and made for the general public. When this happens, electric vehicles will be more reliable. Also, don't forget the other investments we will make in the charging system that will take years to attain the level you want to reach. In the meantime, EVEs will remain inferior to internal combustion vehicles for autonomy as well as overall ease of use. Thank you for your time, and we'll see us next time.